Hello, welcome to MU Plant Diagnostic Clinic. My name is Peng Tian. I'm the director and a plant diagnostician. As a part of the MU extension, we offer services including identification of plant diseases, turf grass diseases, plant weed species, as well as insect and mite species. We're located in the University of Missouri at Columbia, Missouri. You can always find us by searching MU Plant Diagnostic Clinic and go to our website. Please don't hesitate to contact us by email and phone call, and we're willing to help you. Hello, my name is Morgan. I'm a research assistant here at the Plant Diagnostic Clinic. Um, today, we're going to kind of go over how to collect a sample to send to us. Um, so it's always best if you collect the entire plant, um, roots, ground tissue, the stem, the leaves. The more information that we have, the better that we can help you diagnose. Do not insert a wet paper towel into the plant. It's going to kind of affect um, any diseases or fungal pathogens that could be on the plant. If you're not able to send us the whole plant, if it's a large tree or a large bush, you can send us a sample of the affected areas. If it's a foliar disease, if it's a stem issue, um, do not send a wet paper towel in this either. Um, do not send us any dead tissue. We're not able to get any information from this, so we will request a fresher sample from you if we get this in. To submit a sample to us on the front page of MU Plan Diagnostic Clinic, click the tab of Physical Sample Submission. It will direct you to the page of our online submission form. This page also has the videos of our lab services, our sample submission guidelines, and our email address, as well as the PDF files of the forms that you can download and send to us together with your sample. If you are interested in sending sample through the online submission form and uh, make a payment by credit card, please click this yellow button with plant disease sample form. Once you click it, it will direct you to this page that you can customize your order. If you proceed the customizing the order, it will lead to our sample submission form page showing you three different forms of our services as well as other three forms regarding to our addition test fee. So for me today, I'm interested in seeing a sample of tomato that I suspect having fungal pathogens. So I'm gonna select the plea implant disease identification form. Once I click this, I will select the quantity as one. Then add to cart, and you will need to fill up all the required information in this online submission form. I have briefly fill up this form. Like you can see, I have clicked. The first option is diagnosis result. I clicked email, reply to both submitter and client. Client location, I select Missouri clients, and also for diagnosis, I pick it up to perform only routine diagnosis. If you want to test for additional tests, you can select those two options. I click the same set additional test bill to both submitter and a client. Then I put the submitter information here, content information, as well as the client's information and their content information. For the information for submitter and client, I select extension educator as a submitter and the farmer as the client. Of course, your situation will be different uh, with what I put here. Regarding the plants, like I said, my plant is tomato. I don't know the variety, so I put an NA. And then I put the date of collection, date of sending, as well as a county of origin. Then regarding the symptoms, I put it has been developed two days and uh, it was not occurred in previous years. After that, I put the location information, symptoms, parts affected, distribution, as well as disease incidents, which is 50% of the area. I don't have any information for pesticide and fertilizing programs, so I put an NA. 
and then I didn't put any additional information for the symptoms. Of course, with your plant symptoms, the more information you can put into the form, the better it will help me to perform diagnosis. Once you finish this form, please click continue. It will lead you to the overview page that you can see the detailed information that you put in the submission form. If everything looks correct, please click checkout. And then you need to put the phone number again before continuing. In this system, if you don't have the account for IMU extension, you can always select check out as guest. And it will lead you to the payment page. And there are several options for credit card and you can pick. Once you finish all the credit card information, you can click continue and it will lead to the confirmation page. And once you submit the payment, you will receive an order confirmation email. Please record the receipt number so that you can use it for your sample submission. If you have any photos to submit it to the lab, you can always send us photos to our email address, which is plantclinic at missouri.edu. All right, so now we're going to go over how to pack your sample to ship to us. Um, I've got some packing pillows in here on the bottom. You're just going to set your plant inside as well as you can. Make sure to put your um, submission form in a Ziploc bag to make sure nothing gets into that information. And then you're going to just wrap it up and ship it to us. Um, make sure to send it earlier in the week and overnight it so that way we can get the freshest sample and uh, we're not, it's not waiting in the post office over the weekend. 